high we've got that gentle morning yoga flow inside and if you've never done yoga and want to learn easy yoga we're not even standing up in this video we're going to just move our limbs do some gentle twisting some cat cows and just breathe very nice and deep together i'm michelle shaw please subscribe to my channel this is gentle yoga tv and i'm so excited to be here with you let's get started let's begin right on our mats let's say you don't have a mat try a towel and make it you know just fold it out really nice and long on your floor just like a mat because this is all on the floor and if you're um, a little stiff on the floor you can use a blanket or a pillow to kind of bring that up underneath your hips so your knees come down just a little so the main thing when we're starting with yoga is to be comfortable in our skin in our body right where we are so make sure you are comfortable in this position right here if you need one more pillow that's okay so let's get started this is called easy pose sukhasana and it's just kind of right where we get started and uh, ground ourselves with some couple of deep breaths and you can either place your hands on your knees or if you would like to hold them like that whatever feels good for you we are learning self-care together with yoga and that is so important why because the more we take care of ourselves we're sending that signal to our soul that we matter and that we count in this world and when we do that we build self-love we feel better about ourselves we react better with other individuals and it also helps us find more peace within so let's just get started right now and just really find that nice lift in your rib cage and ground your sit bones down so let's actually just take our right hand and place it on our sit bones and let's take our left hand right onto our abdomen and let's breathe in and out through our nose nice fresh inhale exhale through the nose let's do that one more time and now we can just leave the hands on our knees and take that fresh inhale together one more time inhale and do you see how just even those two nice deep breaths so we're working hard to breathe right into our abdomen area so if you're used to breathing in your chest let's work on getting that oxygen getting it into that abdomen and just exhaling deeply almost as if those abdominal muscles are coming all the way back to that spine and just hold it for one moment and then we take that nice new fresh inhale and exhale through the nose and that is called our victorious breath and that's what we're going to be using so let's get started and we're just going to be doing the nice little movement first with our arms so find that peaceful spot make your body comfortable if you need to pause the video to do that do that right now and we're going to start breathing so find that nice upright position and let's take that nice fresh inhale together inhale through the nose exhaling through the nose we'll do that one more time inhale exhale through the nose so simple right and it's awesome because we just flooded our body with fresh oxygen which is awesome for us and also if you want to close your eyes when we're breathing that's okay some people like to do that or you can just sort of you know make sure also your neck is over your spine that's very important and we keep that chin nice and neutral to the ground so also if you want to keep your eyes open you can just find that Dristy, it's a gaze down at the focal point of your nose just very soft so we'll do that one more time because breathing is everything in yoga and that's one reason we should do yoga even if it's gentle because our body needs those deep breaths it's been known to help change our bodies because most of us are shallow breathers by nature so that is not a good thing so 
To get into yoga first, you need to work with your breath and build your breath and find that fresh oxygen right in the center of our abdomen and exhale it all the way. So let's do that one more time. Nice fresh inhale. And that's it. So let's bring our hands to our heart and just take that moment to set our own intention for right where we are in our lives. And just know at any moment, if things are not going right in our life, we can begin again with one breath in and out through our nose, restart our lives right where we are. And that's what we're doing right now together. Nice, fresh inhale. And now let's just gaze out over those fingertips. Nice, fresh inhale and exhale through the nose. And now let's take that nice, fresh inhale and just extend those arms nice and long just for two breaths. And just broaden across those shoulders and let's make sure our neck is aligned over our spine. Using that victorious breath. And now let's just begin these little wrist rolls. And what does this do? Well, we're moving our arms and we're lifting our arms. And guess what else we're doing? We're breathing deep. It feels so good. And now we're just going to gently start just turning our neck side to side, gazing out at each of our hands, okay, on each side. And notice as we keep doing this, breathing in and out through the nose, our shoulders start to let go. And why is that great? because we, we really hold a lot of tension up here. So this is an excellent way, if you've got some tension in your upper back, just to kind of let that go before you get out that door and face the world. So let's just do two more breaths right here. And it's also a great arm building, strengthening for arms. It's, it's not that easy, as you can see, as we keep doing this. One last breath. Exhale through the nose. We've got this. Excellent. Let's turn those hands up. Nice, fresh inhale and sweep those hands up over our head. Chin comes up and let's exhale through the nose. Sweep those hands down and see how I turn those hands away from each other. That's important because it gives us another rotation for those shoulders and doesn't that feel good? Let's do that one more time. Nice, fresh inhale. Exhale feeling how that feels, you know, trust your own body, listen to it. If that doesn't feel good, don't do it. Safety is always first on our mat. One more time, inhale. And exhale through the nose. It's called our sea wind breath. Thank you, Michiko Jane Rolick. Look her up in Jane Rolick on Instagram. And exhale through the nose one more time. And it doesn't look like much, but what we just did was just give our body a lot of love, a lot of fresh oxygen, and just build that mindset that I matter, you matter, we count in our lives. And if we're just taking care of everyone else but ourselves, eventually we feel depleted and unhappy and not good. And what happens then? Our world starts to kind of kind of disintegrate around us and little ways to where we could have a breakdown or we become depressed. So even if you just do what we just did, like three times a week, make that your goal. You've never done this. Do what we just did three times a week on a towel, get comfortable and just send that signal to your soul that you count. We are important in our lives. Okay, let's build on. Nice, fresh inhale, sweeping those arms up and we're going to take a gentle twist to the side exhale through the nose that front hand's just coming down to that knee that back hand right behind your hip and let's just gaze out to the side two breaths one and two nice fresh inhale let's sweep those arms up and maybe lift that chin kind of opens that neck Exhale, other side, hands are coming down. Gazing out right in front of you if your neck's a little stiff, or maybe if you can, look over that back shoulder. We have two breaths, other side. 
One, just really lifting that rib cage and keeping those sit bones grounded. And two, inhale, sweep those arms up and let's exhale, turn those hands away and just bring those hands all the way down by our hips. Perfect, now we have just a couple more things right here. Bringing those feet, just switching those feet up, just giving our legs a different flow there. We're gonna take one arm either side is fine and let's take that fresh inhale, lift that arm up and we begin a, just a side bend with our body and keep this hip, your sit bones rooted and just really reach over that head maybe even gaze up at that hand, one breath right here, and you can even bring your forearm down if you're kind of already bendy. Excellent, inhale, sweep that arm down, and let's do that one more time, other side. That arm is lifting up, just really lift that arm up, stretching it over, nice, fresh inhale, and out through the nose one more time. Inhale, let's sweep that hand down. That is perfect, and we are done with that little segment. So like I said before, if this is it for you today, good job. You just took great care of yourselves, and that is so important, but let's build on, stay with me. We're going down to, it's called tabletop, and it looks like a table, and that's why they call it tabletop, and if your knees are you know, a little sensitive, and it's you at a hard floor, you can always bring a blanket, or a towel, you know, right here underneath your knees or even just double fold your mat. So we're getting ready for um, cat cow and this is a really popular beginning stretch in yoga. And so when we begin, let's first check in with our knees right underneath our hips. And we've got our wrists aligned right underneath our shoulders. And one other very important detail, these hands, these fingers, Fan those fingers wide. That's very important. The wrist right under those shoulders. And now make sure we're not collapsing, but we're gonna take a fresh inhale. Extend those shoulders up first, nice and strong. We've got those knees under our hips and on our exhale, let's lift our chin up and just naturally allow that belly to kind of relax down toward that mat, opening that heart space. And then exhale, we're going to round that back, chins coming to chest, extending center of our back up using that core. And let's inhale, belly relaxes down toward that mat, lifting that chin up. Inhale, just really, oh, how good does that feel? I'm sorry, that was the exhale. So inhale, and then exhale. I like doing it this way because on the exhale, we're just really pushing that back up. And you can do it either way, so you just decide for yourselves. But this is the way I love to coordinate my breath with my cat cow. So let's just do two more right here. And one last thing on these cat cows. When we um, extend that middle of our back up, Think about your tailbone. If you can kind of release it down toward the mat, it's going to help the upper part of our back expand a little more up here. And what are we doing? We're giving our spine some much needed love and creating some space. So let's do one more breath. Excellent. And now on our next inhale, we're just going to bring our arms out in front of us. This is called um, puppy pose. And I love it because it kind of feels like a variation of downward dog. So we fan the hands wide. Arms, the wrists are right with the um, shoulders. Finding that nice balance. And then on the exhale, just allow the crown of the head to gently come between your arms. It's kind of melting into the mat or towel if you're on that. And if your head doesn't reach the mat, that's okay. Another variation of this is you can come down on your forearms if that's too much. So let's just begin three breaths right here. Poppy pose. Nice fresh inhale. Exhale through the nose. 
And you got two more breaths. So really feeling that abdomen up with some fresh oxygen and letting it go. One more breath. And just release those upper back muscles. And eventually in puppy pose, if you keep working at this, we'll get that forehead down right there on our mat. Or maybe it's the chin even. You can really find that length in the spine and open that space under our armpits. And that feels so good. So after we do the puppy pose, let's just take a nice fresh inhale and open our knees just a little bringing our big toes together and we're going to push the weight of our body over our heels forehead to mat we've got five full breaths in child's pose just really opening that lower back one Just really let those muscles go in your upper back and sink your sit bones down over your heels. Three. Four. One more breath. And five, nice fresh inhale. Let's lift that forehead up. How great did that feel? And on our exhale, use that core strength and let's bring our hands right back to tabletop and let's align our knees right back underneath our hips. And once we find that, let's take an inhale and just extend that right arm up. Now, if you don't have a lot of mobility in your arm yet, you can place it on your hip and just open that way. So let's find that nice position, what works best for your body. Inhale, opening that arm, and this is called thread the needle. We're taking that hand underneath that other arm and just releasing that shoulder, surrender it down to the mat. Head gently comes down and let's walk that hand out. Just for three breaths. One. In and out through the nose one more time. And three. Inhale, walk that hand back. And let's just really extract that arm and sweep it up one more time. And let's exhale, place that hand down. I'm just going to turn this way as we do that other side together. Nice, fresh inhale. Let's exhale, just thread that needle. Releasing that shoulder down. Gently, side of the head comes down and walk that hand out and just relax into this pose. Just letting go. Forgetting everything else, just taking care of self. One more breath. Nice, fresh inhale. Let's walk that right hand back and extend that arm up nice and strong, pushing firmly into that hand as we sweep that arm up one more time. And exhale, bring that hand down. Perfect. And now on our next inhale, we're just going to sweep our feet off to the side and come right back to Sukhasana. So we're just about finished, right where we started. A little hair in my mouth there. And let's take that nice fresh inhale, sweep those arms up, lifting that chin up, and let's exhale, turn those palms away from each other, bringing it down. And can you feel how much easier it is just from that little bit of yoga we did how much little bit more flexibility we have in our arms. So let's do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe. 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 Inhale.
exhale through the nose and just sweep those hands down. And now we're just gonna do that one side, arm lifts up over that head, little lateral bend here, maybe gazing down or up at that hand. Exhale, sweep that hand down, breathing through the nose. Inhale, nice fresh inhale. Exhale through the nose. And now we're just going to take a gentle turn to the side. And exhale back to center. Almost done. Inhale, other side. Exhale back to center, bringing our hands to our heart. Let's lift our chin up level to the floor, keeping that neck over our spine. Just gaze out over those fingers. We have two centered breaths together. Nice, fresh inhale. Maybe you're finding a slight smile on that face of ours. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, exhale through the nose. And right now at this moment, I don't know where you are on your path in life, but love yourself and let's take care of ourselves together with these deep breaths and send that signal that we matter, we count. And maybe send some extra little mantra. Find that mantra, that little affirmation that's your secret you share with no one else. Repeat those words to yourself daily. And that's it. We've got it for today. I'm grateful you've been with me on our Matt on our journey here inside. First time we've been inside and it felt so good. Why? Because I'm at home and I'm with you in spirit. Namaste. Mm -hmm.